I drove by this area every day to and from home and I was just curious what is it because it was sort of like a jungle and when I became Dean of the College of Medicine in 2002 I became even more interested because I realized that this was the only remaining green space on the Health Science Center campus. Talking to some people I thought we should restore it. We decided that the gardens should not just be a place to come sit and enjoy the outer doors, but in fact reflect the activities of the buildings that were all around us. So that was research, education, and patient care. We were noticing that a lot of people were coming to the gardens to get away from the stressors that are happening around these gardens. And so we thought it was time to make that experience more purposeful, more intentional. That's when we started the Therapeutic Horticulture Program. I have a little brother who had a traumatic brain injury when he was little. And so growing up with that experience, I think I always recognize the importance um, and the value in people with special circumstances. We are giving people the opportunity to build up their self-esteem and their sense of self-confidence and self-worth. So many of the folks that we've been working with, because of their disability or their disease or their whatever issue they're struggling with, they've felt that they haven't been contributing to society and that makes them feel bad about themselves. So I feel like it's my job to help them understand the value of what they're doing here in the greenhouse and that their work really has meaning. And we also try to provide a community here so people can really feel like they're part of this space, part of this place, Wilmot Gardens, this greenhouse. And I think building or rebuilding a sense of community for some of our participants is also very important. I think that a lot of times when people are struggling with mental illness or they're struggling with a physical disability or any other life trauma or event, that connecting with a stranger that may not be the same age as them or may not have the same experience as them or may not have anything in common with them is a sort of experience that is really valuable. And the horticulture therapy program in particular is so unique because it connects students from the university with people in the community to build connections over something of a third party like plants. And so it's really a unique opportunity to be able to have that experience. Hopefully one day I can become a healthcare professional that incorporates nature and plants into the healthcare setting and practice.